these are bitter melon or bitter gourd i'm going to use the sprouts to cook with the mung beans so this is a new fruit i'm not going to uh, i'm going to cut here because that one is a new fruit and then also i see a fruit already harvested yesterday for breakfast i made omelette bitter gourd omelette but i see one more here i think this is ready so i'm going to harvest this as well so like that one is a new fruit so i'll just pick the ones without the fruits and these are very nutritious very rich in uh, calcium and iron especially iron and this one has a flower but this is a male flower so i can use this one too This is also a new fruit, small fruit. It will be really windy tonight too, so I'm going to pick these roses because tomorrow they will be gone anyway. Like I mentioned earlier, it's going to be really windy starting tonight. So I'll, I pick these roses because they will just be blown by the wind. They are still blooming even though it's already like fall. Pink one. So then I can we can enjoy them inside instead of like see? Very fragrant. This is the most like fragrant rose we have in the garden. This one doesn't have a smell or very, very mild. This one is the one. This one is like perfume. <laughs> also very pretty. Look at that. Like it's like, it's like painted on the edge. <laughs> and then now I'm cooking this mung beans i'm going to boil this for about an hour and then uh saute pork and tomatoes and onions and garlic and then later on i'm going to put the um bitter melon and then this uh bitter melon uh, sprouts and some shishito peppers i'll just put this there it's drying up So this one I just need to slice or like cut it in half, remove the seeds and the pulp and then just like it, slice it like that and I like making omelette too. These are like shishito peppers that I'm going to add on the mung beans too. 
here are the mung beans and uh, we can make a bean sprouts from this too just need to boil these mung beans for about an hour this is almost ready I'm just i'll just add the um, peppers little peppers and then um, the bitter melon and then I sauteed pork here, pork, I sauteed pork in uh, garlic and onion and then uh, bucket tomatoes, some leftover bucket tomatoes and I'll just add them all together <laughs> like that and then just mix. So I'll add the sprouts. So we, what is this, Josh? How do you call this in Filipino? Um, burrito? Um, uh, burrito? Ampalaya? Ampalaya. So we're going to cook ampalaya. Ampalaya. We're going, or, or what is this in English? English, um, bitter melon. Yeah, so we're going to make bitter melon omelette. What do we need to make uh, the bitter melon omelette? We need onions. What's this? Garlic. Garlic, tomatoes, egg. I cannot touch it. And last one that I told you, bitter melon. How does bitter melon look? Like a cactus. Like a cactus? Yep. And I can make a cactus with it. Do you like bitter melon? I didn't try it before, I think. I tried it before. I, I I never tried How it. How do you by think now. bitter melon tastes like? Hmm. I didn't forgot. From the name. From the name. Would it taste like salty, sour, bitter? Bitter. Sweet? Bitter, I think. Yes. <laughs> because it's called bitter melon. Yeah. Bitter melon. It has a bitter that means it's bitter inside. That's right. Oh oh, Let's cut the end, slice it into in the middle. I think it's a little ripe too, I don't know. What is this? And just like slice it like this. Like this. By the way, do you have homework? Yeah. Did you do it at the after school or not? Yeah. I did three. You did three? Okay, perfect. But it's like a more. So I think that one is a little ripe. I think this is perfect. And then last one. Just cut both ends, slice it into like two. So it's like this and garlic and the tomatoes. the garlic and onion Just flip to make sure that the eggs are 
ครับทุกคนขอบคุณมากที่ติดตามและถ้าชอบคลิปนี้อย่าลืมกดไลค์และกดกระดิ่งเพื่อเป็นกำลังใจให้กับเราด้วยนะคะ